undoubtedly I'll be using a variety of baits today, but I'm going to start out with this Zeke's yellow colored Zeke's Sierra Gold. It's a floating dough bait. It's really simple to use. I'll show you how. Here's, here we go. This is a brand new bottle. So we'll take off the cap. As you can see, it's pasty. It's kind of like Play-Doh. You remember when you were in school? One of my pet peeves that I see a lot of people do is they use too big of a glob of dough bait. I mean, this stuff isn't cheap. You don't need to be using but about a quarter inch ball. So I've got some dough. Put that down there. I'm going to take the dough, roll it into a ball. It's sticky, but it doesn't stick to your hands. That's one of the things I really like about Zeke's. There it is. Now you take your hook, which I have right here. I start hook point first, but I, I just, you know, basically just work the hook into the ball of bait, shove the hook on in there, and then I meld it around the eye a little bit just so I know it's, it's on there pretty good. That's it. Really simple, pretty straightforward. That's going to float up off the bottom. A trout's going to come by. There's a couple other points that are really important, but let me toss this in the water and then I'll, uh, I'll show you the final, the final points on bait fishing here. I'm going to pitch this out probably about not too far. I see the slope of the bottom, so I'm probably going to pitch it out about 30 feet, something like that. Maybe a little farther. I'll put my second rod in a little closer. So here we go. Let's pitch that out into the water. Let it sink all the way down there. It's on the bottom. Now I put a I put a rod holder in here, a little spring rod holder. Put my rod in the holder. And this is really important. I grew up uh, bait fishing for trout at Urban Lakes in the Bay Area. This is something all the old timers did. When a trout picks off that bait, if he feels resistance, a lot of times he'll spit it out. What we do is we take a bobber. I put a snap swivel on there, the swivel, or the snap part of it is, is open. I'll go up here towards the end of the rod. I'll just hang this between the guides. And you'll see it'll take up all the slack. Then I'll pull a little line out of the reel. That drag's kind of tight, probably loosen that up a bit. Now, when a trout comes along and takes that bait, we're going to see that bobber come up towards the rod. He's going to be able to swim off with the bait in his mouth without feeling any resistance. When that bobber gets up to the rod, I got him. Pick up the rod, light hook set, the bobber will usually fall off, and it's fish on. Reel them in, baby. Okay, we're getting hit on the Zeke's floating dough bait, and you can see the fish is kind of working on that. And uh, it's kind of like when I was a kid. My dad said, you can help me most by staying out of the way. And you can help yourself most, usually when you're getting a bite like this, by not messing around with the rod. So we just kind of let it sit there and see if that fish takes that bait. Hopefully it wasn't just a drive-by. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's pulling out like he means it now. Again, he's not feeling any real resistance. The rod tip's wiggling a lot, but that's a really soft action rod. So, oh, there he goes. Give him a little more slack there. I'll actually take that off there now. In reality, I think I got him. In fact, I see the line going out. So I'm going to reel down a little bit. Little pan sized rainbow. It's not a monster, but uh, we're off to a start anyway. Oh, now he knows he's hooked. That Zeke Sierra Gold is good stuff. We are uh, we are in the lower reaches of the Sierras, and as you can see, it does work. The nice thing with the 10-pound test is I can bring him in black bass style, just like that. Boom. So hopefully we can only uh, we can only go up from here. We'll get some larger ones hopefully, but that's a that's a nice start. We'll put that fish on the stringer and uh, we'll fry him up for dinner. Mm -hmm.